Anuilo is a city with over 100-year-old universities. It is considered as the center of education in Western Visayas by having the most numbers of schools, both private and public school. Since then, students flocked in Anuilo to gain the best education, especially in tertiary level by having the biggest and prestigious universities. Here are the four oldest universities in Anuilo city. Number 1 University of San Agustin. Augustinian friars from Spain belonging to the province of the Most Holy Name of Jesus of the Philippines founded the University of San Agustin on July 15, 1904. They were assisted by their American confreres from the Augustinian U.S. province of St. Thomas of Villanueva. The Spanish Augustinians were the first Christian missionaries of any religious order to enter the Philippines. The university began as a preparatory school for boys during the American colonial period. It was recognized by the government on December 12, 1912 for its various course offerings. On February 5, 1917, it was formally incorporated under the name Colegio San Agustin de Iloilo. In 1928, one of the country's oldest campus publications, the Augustinian Mirror, was established, producing some of the country's well-known writers. The 1930s saw rapid growth with the opening of three colleges in quick succession. The College of Liberal Arts in 1935, the College of Commerce in 1936, and the College of Law in 1937. In 1940, on the eve of the Second World War, the college admitted female students for the first time. During the Second World War, the college was temporarily shuttered as the Philippines fought a guerrilla war against the Japanese. The war led to the destruction of all the buildings, except for the Edenita Hall. which at present houses the university theater and archives and museum with almost the entire college in ruins some friars advocated closing the school altogether while others pushed for its immediate rehabilitation it was eventually reopened in 1945 followed by a decade of expansion that ushered in both the college of pharmacy and the college of technology the noble teachers college the graduate school and the college of dentistry The school was granted university status on March 1, 1953, a year before its 50th anniversary, making it the first university in Western Visayas. The following year, Reverend Angel de Lanto, OSA, arrived from Spain after completing his studies at Villanueva University, an American sister school of the University of San Agustin. As an impresario, he introduced the Yearly Volada, characterized by a week-long festivity of artistic, religious, and cultural events. Azazuela, staged by both professors and students, is the centerpiece of University Week from February 14 to 20. In 1965, Reverend Nikak Nalana became the rector of the university. His term was marked by vast improvements in the school's infrastructure. The same year he started his term as rector, he inaugurated DYSA, the official radio station of the university, to help expand the reach of the university through mass media. The University of San Agustin Press, known today as Libro Agustino, came a year later. In the months leading to the centenary of San Agustin in 2004, it began publishing book titles by Augustinian authors, with an eye at producing a total of 100 different volumes. Poor enrollment forced the administrators to phase out the College of Dentistry in 1967, but a flowering of cultural and artistic activities on campus led to the founding of the famous Coral Lion USA Dance Troupe. the USA Troubadours and the Conservatory of Music. Reverend Santiago Isguera, OSA, a Spanish musician who studied music in Rome, was formally installed as its first dean. In 1969, the USA Clinical Laboratory was opened, followed a few years later by the introduction of the College of Nursing in 1974. In 2010, the university announced the establishment of a new extension campus in Mati, Davao Oriental Philippines. The university maintains a level 3 accreditation status granted by the PASCU and is one of the two schools in the region having an autonomous status granted by SHED. The university's campus, situated in the very heart of the city on General Yuna Street, has a modern gymnasium, an auditorium, various conferences and seminar rooms, science, computer and speech laboratories, a museum, a bookstore, a library, an instructional media center. In 1984, the All Filipino Augustinian Province of Santa Nina of Cebu was formed, separating from the mother province of the Most Holy Name of Jesus of the Philippines based in Madrid, 
and ownership of the university was handed over to the latest circumscription of the Augustinian order. Succession of rectors was appointed, including Reverends Bernardino Riccafrenti, Eusebio Berdu, Mameta of Fish, and Rodolfo Ariza. During Reverend Ariza's term, he pursued linkages with various universities abroad and focused on research development. Over the years, school enrollment has increased, resulting in the decision to move the high school department to a new campus in the suburbs of Sambac in Harrow, by Loyola City. Number 2. Central Philippine University the birth of Central Philippine University is connected with the beginning of the Baptist mission in the Philippines. In 1898, Rev. Dr. Eric Lund, a Swedish Baptist missionary baptized Braulio Manikin, a native of Aklan, in Barcelona, Spain. Manikin became the first Filipino Baptist. The two soon planned to undertake mission work in the Philippines. While waiting for that opportunity, they embarked on translating the Gospels and Acts into the Hiligaynon language. Their opportunity was materialized when the American Baptist Foreign Mission Society commissioned and financed their mission work. They arrived in Iloilo City, Philippines in May 1900. The Philippine Baptist pastors and American missionaries developed a three-pronged mission work pattern from the ministry of Jesus Christ, preaching, healing, and teaching. This pattern was developed as a means to minister to the whole man and not just his spiritual needs. The preaching ministry resulted in organizing churches in Iluyo, Negros, and Capes. For instance, Haro Evangelical Church was organized in September 1900, Bacolard Evangelical Church in 1902, and Capes Evangelical Church in 1908. As to the healing ministry, the Philippine Baptist Mission established two hospitals in Panay Island. In Iluyo, the Baptists partnered with the Presbyterians in operating the Iloilo Mission Hospital in 1901. Later, the Iloilo Mission Hospital became an exclusive Baptist institution in 1925 when the Presbyterians turned over their mission work to the Baptists. In Capes, a medical mission was started in 1902, which later became the Capes Emmanuel Hospital in 1912. The Philippine Baptist Mission soon started a Baptist home school in Capes in 1904. Later, this became known as the Philema Christian University. In Oloilo, a Bible school for women was established in 1904 through the leadership of Anna V. Johnson. This later became the Baptist Missionary Training School. In June 1905, the Bible school for men was also opened. A few months later, in October 1, 1905, another school was opened, the Haro Industrial School. The Philippine Baptist Mission commissioned Reverend Dr. William Valentine, a pastor and teacher, to head the two schools. The Harrow Industrial School started as an elementary vocational school for boys who worked for their board and tuition. It was the first school in the Philippines to teach that labor is honor. Valentine said that this is a school that would offer industrial education with a firm base in Christian teachings. The school had the distinction of having organized the first student government in the Philippines, the Harrow Industrial School Republic, now CPU Republic. In 1913, the school was incorporated and recognized by the government. The school also began to admit female students. In 1915, the first two years of high school were opened. In 1920, the third and fourth year classes were added and the following year, the first batch of high school graduates were turned out. The school was expanded into a junior college in 1923 and the name was changed to Central Philippine School and then to Central Philippine College. The senior college was established in 1936. In the 1940, five degrees were offered. Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Theology, and Bachelor of Religious Education. Another achievement for the college is that it was the first in the Philippines to offer a nursing course in cooperation with the Aloilo Mission Hospital, and also the first in the country to offer a kindergarten school. When World War II broke out, destruction and death arrived at Central Philippine College. The college buildings were destroyed. In Hopevale Top Arts, Capes, the Japanese soldiers captured and killed the 11 American Baptist missionaries and one little boy in December 20, 1943. They are called the Hopevale Martyrs. One of those who died was Reverend Dr. Francis Howard Rose, who was the acting president of Central Philippine College before the war. He was the one who designed the Central Philippine College seal in 1923, and the one who also designed Western Hall 
Franklin Hall, and Ribley Hall. He composed many of the central psalms, and through one of these psalms, he is credited with coining the term central spirit. Most students, faculty, staff and alumni joined the underground resistance. Many of them died for democracy and freedom. After the war, Professor Rex Dryland declared, out of the ruins and ashes of war shall rise a greater central. Central Philippine College was reopened by loyal faculty members and returning missionaries. Destroyed buildings were reconstructed and new ones were built. The first two years of post-liberation has proved that the central spirit did not die. We shall show the generations coming after us that no war of man or machine can destroy the central spirit and that, like a river forever seeking the ocean, the college must go on, no matter what the difficulties. In April 1, 1953, Central Philippine College became Central Philippine University, and a serious discussion on the need for a Filipino president followed. On May 10, 1966, the CPU Board of Trustees elected the university's first Filipino president, Dr. Rex Drillin. Later on Christmas Day, December 25, 1969, the entire university property land, buildings and equipment was turned over by the American Baptist Foreign Mission Society to Central Philippine University. One of the conditions was to make safeguards against CPU ever becoming non-church related. Thus, the CPU constitution and bylaws stipulates that 33 out of 65 of the members of the CPU corporation and at least 10 out of 15 of the CPU board of trustees should come from member churches at the Convention of Philippine Baptist Churches. Since then, the next presidents of the university were all Filipinos. Dr. Augustin Pulido, Dr. Juanita Acanto, and Dr. Teodoro Robles. CPU has maintained its autonomous status granted by the Commission on Higher Education since 2001. CPU is now looked up to as the best in Western Visayas and one of the top 20 best schools in the whole country. CPU has grown much in physical plant and educational programs, but it continues to strive to remain true and faithful to its mission as a Christian institution whose motto is Scientia e Fides, which means science and faith. Number 3. West Visayas State University West Visayas State University was founded on June 16, 1902, as an adjunct unit with Thaiboyo National High School of the Philippine Normal School System established under the American regime. It was one of the five tributary schools created to address the need to train Filipino teachers under the tutelage of the homicides. In 1924, with the completion of its main building, now Kazon Hall and Laboratory School Building, Iloilo Normal School was established as a distinct educational and independent institution. It was also when a secondary normal school program, which eventually became a four-year normal college course, was established. In 1954, the Bachelor of Science in Education major in elementary education was offered pioneering teacher training institution in Western Visayas. It was named a Center of Excellence by the late Senator Blas Opel and Center of Excellence for Teacher Education by the Commission on Higher Education. The Iloilo Normal School became the West Visaya State College by virtue of R4189 on May 4, 1965, and commenced the offering of the bachelor's degree in education for both elementary and secondary teaching, Bachelor of Arts, Master in Education. Also established were the Graduate School and the College of Arts and Sciences. The period from 1974 to the early 1980s was one of marked growth, witnessing the establishment of the School of Medicine the second state medical school in the Philippines in 1975, the School of Agriculture in 1976, and the School of Nursing in 1977. The doctoral program of the graduate school was also founded in 1977. The BS in Biological Science, a B in Miscommunications, and B's Forestry programs began in 1981. On January 27, 1986, the college became the West Visaya State University, integrating the Iloilo National College of Agriculture into its system. The university further established in 1993 the Sports, Athletics, and Cultural Arts Center, which later became the degree granting Puskar Institute and later Puskar College in 2000. In 1987, the university acquired the Don Benito Lopez Memorial Hospital, which became the WVSU Hospital, a 150-bed tertiary teaching and training hospital. The Board of Regents and the Department of Health approved the conversion of the WVSU Hospital to WVSU Medical Center that it is now. 
The enactment of the Higher Education Modernization Act in brought more developments in the university. In 2000, four should supervise schools in Kalinik, Haniwai, Lambuno, and Patoten were integrated into the WVSU system. The University Distance Education Program through the Diploma in Teaching course began in summer 2003. By 2005, the local government unit of Humamelanin Negros Occidental entered into a memorandum of agreement with WVSU for the establishment of the WVSU Humamelan City Extension in 2006, which was later elevated to external campus from being an extension campus. Meanwhile, two new degree-granting units were also opened in the university. The Institute of Information and Communications Technology in 2002 and the Institute of Management in 2006, which later became the College of Business and Management in 2010. In 2007, the university's administrators, scholars and histories collectively agreed to change the institution's founding, especially on its logo from 1924 to 1902. The year WVSU was founded as a tributary unit of the Philippine Law School System. It was in 2007 that the university celebrated its centennial. A national historical marker was installed by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines on the main campus's Quezon Hall. In July 2020, the West Visaya State University College of Law was established, the first public law school in Western Visayas. The following year, it opened its College of Dentistry the second public university after Ripi Manila, and the first public college outside of Manila to offer a program in dentistry. Number 4. Iloilo Science and Technology University Iloilo Science and Technology University was established in 1905 as an elementary trade school known as the Iloilo Trade School. By virtue of Commonwealth Act No. 313 in 1939, the school was converted into a National School of Arts and Trade with Iloilo School of Arts and Trades as its official name. In 1940, the school offered the two-year teacher education curriculum for the graduates of the secondary trade schools and three-year education curriculum for graduates in general high school. In 1951, the school was authorized to open the degree of Bachelor of Science in Industrial Education. The school was made a training center in the development of industrial arts program when the team of industrial educators from Stanford University arrived in 1957. In 1968, it also became a training center for implementation of the reconstructed manpower program of the National Manpower and Youth Council. In 1974, the Educational Development Project Implementation Task Force identified the school as the Regional Staff Development Center for Practical Arts in Western Visayas. It also pioneered in the implementation of the Graduate Program for Vocational Technical Education in 1976, offering the degree Master of Arts in Teaching Vocational Education. In May 1983, by virtue of Barter's Pambansa 395, the school was converted into a chartered state college known as the Western Visayas College of Science and Technology. The university acquired a 1.5 hectare lot across the road in addition to its present 4.75 hectare area that accommodates the main campus. The college was elevated to a university in June 2013 and changed its name to Iloilo Science and Technology University.